It's an Easter tradition for many families, but for kids like 13-year-old Asarame, who has vision loss, he's never been able to participate in an egg hunt. So, oh, I didn't really get that experience. experience. And being here hunting for eggs has been, has been really e-fulfilling. But that changed Sunday. The sound of beeping eggs filled the air, allowing kids with vision loss to use their other senses to find hidden eggs. So many of these kids who are here today, they haven't been able to participate in an Easter egg hunt before. So being able to do something like this, especially partner with the police to create such a community event, it just lets kids be kids and lets just like their sighted siblings and friends. The Edmonton Police Foundation and Bomb Unit partnered with the Canadian Institute for the Blind to make the accessible event happen. It's been really fun, you know. Uh, it's been really enjoyable just playing with me and my siblings. Acting Deputy Chief Nicole Chapdelaine says the heartwarming event couldn't have come at a better time. It brings us a sense of, of pride and a bit of a sense of, of happiness and joy, something that we're, you know, we're all looking for right now and in the midst of everything. And so uh, the timing of this you know, is, is great. I'm glad it worked out for this weekend. And uh, so I, I think there's just a lot, of real, a lot of real joy for everybody. More than 30 families registered for the annual event, now in its second year. The Edmonton Police Service says it hopes to continue the new tradition for many years to come. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.